everybody, it's Sunek here again. I'm so happy to be back with you guys again. Um, just learning more about Jesus and the stories. So Jesus was so good at telling stories, but we call them parables. And he always told these stories so that we can learn something and makes it a little bit easier for us. And how wonderful, who doesn't love a good story? So today we have um, the three parables of the lost sheep, the lost coin, and then the lost son that we also call the, um, the prodigal son. So we can find this in our green section in Luke 15. So if you want to grab your Bibles quickly and then make sure you underline it. My son said, make sure you tell the kids to underline them because they have good headings there. The story of the lost sheep, the story of the lost coin, and the story of the lost son. So make sure you highlight that. Super, super easy to find for anybody. We have a huge treat today because we have these three stories dramatized for us with um, some kids and people in our church. So we'll look at that and then we'll learn more. I lost my gold coin. I need a sweep everywhere. Jesus explains, won't she light a lamp and sweep the entire house and search carefully until she finds it? And when she finds it, Will she call in her friends and neighbors and say, Rejoice with me, because I found my lost coin. I found my gold coin! Yeah! Then Jesus tells us about the parable about the shepherd who had 100 sheep. He was in the field and he was counting his sheep. One, two, three, four. And then he's like, I only count 99 sheep. And he counts again, just to double check, but he's like, where is the one lost sheep? So he looks everywhere. He goes looking for the one lost sheep because he loves all his sheep very, very much. And then finally, after searching, he finds the one sheep and he's so happy. He throws a party and the sheep. <laughs> Jesus tells us the parable of the lost son. So the young man came to his father and said, Give me all my money. I want my whole inheritance, every penny. And dad is like, no, well, oh, okay, if you insist, then I'll, I'll give you all the... Oh, and the son was just so happy. His pockets were full. Dad was really, really sad, though. So the young man starts to party, just spending all his money on wild parties, not even thinking what he's doing with all his money. And then... He realizes, I don't have any money anymore. He just has nothing more. So he goes and he has to feed the pigs. And he realizes that the pigs are eating better than he is. He has nothing to eat. So hungry. And he also realizes that the servants of his dad actually eat better than he does. So he decides, maybe my dad will take me back. Maybe he'll let me serve with the servants. He would expect nothing more than that, just to be taken back to get some food. So he goes back home, and his dad sees him coming, and he's overjoyed. He runs to his son and embraces him, and they party. He's just overjoyed that his son has returned home. Hi, so those three stories has one thing in common every time. The lost sheep, the lost coin, and the lost son. And Jesus tells the story because he wants to explain to us how it's that when his, one of his kids are lost and he his heart is broken for that child that is lost. And when that child comes back to God's heart, heaven rejoices, the angel sings, everybody is so elated. So, but Jesus loves each one of us so much. And when you're lost, he's gonna go find you because he wants you home. He wants you a part of his his family. So all these three stories and how the party happened every time the lost come in, the forgiveness and the joy that comes from that. Such wonderful stories. So um, our memory verse for today is, let the children come to me from Luke 18 verse 16. So I think it's very appropriate because Jesus just welcomes his children back to him always with open arms, no matter what we've done, no matter the mistakes we've made and the mess ups we've made that Jesus, yeah, he runs to us and welcomes us home. So we have a little craft today. So remember your Bibles, look that in the Bible. And then we have a little craft 
that I made, super easy for you to make at home because everybody knows what this is. A toilet roll, I'm pretty sure you have these at home. And some straws. I just went for straws, it's the easiest. And poke a hole, like four little holes, with a pencil for the legs. And then you just stick them in there. Super simple. There you go. And then you cut out a little face from cardboard and two fabulous googly eyes on there. And then you cover them with some cotton balls. So just get some glue, any glue will do. And you, so my sheet really does look like it was lost in the woods because I didn't have proper cotton balls. So it looks a little shraggly. And um, yeah, it looks like it's been through a lot, but we're very happy for our lost shaggy sheep. So um, yeah, so if you want to do that at home, super easy. Um, so yeah, thank you. I hope everybody learned something from our stories today. And I think the best for us to do now is to close in prayer. Ah, Lord Jesus, thank you amazing for your amazing grace and forgiveness for us. Thank you that you do not give up on us when we're lost, you come and look for us and you call us. Say, come back to me because you desire for us to be close to you because you know that's where we're safe and we're wanted. I pray for each one listening to this today. Maybe they do feel lost. Maybe they feel forgotten. Maybe they feel like they're behind a cupboard somewhere and nobody sees them, but just so that they will know that Jesus sees them as looking for them and calling them to their his heart so i just want to pray for each one bless them bless their week and um, touch their hearts with your joy and your love amen thank you very much everybody have a wonderful week bye